The wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree, glimmering light. I am right. Mama, get the coffee, excuse me. Say good morning. Good morning. Good morning, baby. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> cold, thought it never be true. We're gonna watch them open the Andy calendars. Okay, let's go. Day two. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, this is a tiny one. Yeah, brush. <laughs> We're doing our advent a little bit earlier this year because we're going to be going away from to my sisters for the weekend. So I'm letting them open them earlier. But they got these Schleich. Schleich is like the Lego brand for horse toys. And they came out with advent calendars. I'm still waiting for my advent calendar to come in. Actually, I ordered another one. I ordered a coffee one from the Bean Box. I've never tried their coffee before. But they source, I believe, from different roasters and they do an advent calendar, 12 days of coffee. I'm so excited for that. It should come on Monday. And then I ordered a Lashify advent calendar. That should be really excited. I wanted to buy their, they have like gossamer flavor boxes and each box had, I don't remember how many lashes, but it came out to like $8.25 per gossamer for volume lashes. That was such a good deal and it, sold out within a couple hours I think. It was insane. Now, now I had like major FOMO because one of the boxes had tulips, stardust, um, plushies, just like really good lashes. It was such a good deal. It was like a big upfront cost at like $88 or $99 I believe that one was. But man, such a good deal. No wonder it sold out so fast. So I didn't get that one but I did get the last my advent calendar where it's like $9 items so i'm really excited to see what's in that one. Oh gosh the lighting here is so much better i look like a dead zombie from that angle by the way this cardigan from walmart i'll be wearing it basically every single day this holiday season because it's so cozy but i subscribed to felicia masonheimer's newsletter a couple years ago i had to help the kids with something but i was saying that i subscribed to felicia masonheimer's newsletter she's a theologian that i follow on instagram and she just has so many great resources she's one of my all-time favorite people to follow on instagram and this advent season she's doing a series which i will leave uh the link down below to subscribe to her newsletter i highly recommend it it sounds like it's going to be really great. I'm back at it again with the Christmas ride at Lipstick, but we're actually gonna head out and go to the store. I got an email from Instacart, which I do use here and there, we're not here and there, here and there when they send me coupon codes, like $30 off your $50 purchase, stuff like that, or like a free trial. And so I was looking through Aldi to see what they have via Instacart, and I found a bunch of really cute Christmas stuff, and I was gonna order it and pick it up but it's outside of the service area so I'm just gonna drive to the closest LD and see what they have hopefully they have the things that I saw on the Instacart app because they had some really cute things they had like little cookie dippers you know the ones that you put on a cup a gingerbread cookie mix I was gonna make my own but this would just make my life so much easier and like a few other really great holiday stuff so I'm gonna pop into the one that we have and we're gonna see what they have and I also need to buy some hand soap for that gingerbread hand soap situation that I bought yesterday from the dollar store because I am basically really low on hand soap. We just got an LD and they had almost everything that I wanted. They didn't have these sheets. They were like flannel plaid sheets that I thought would be so cute for the holiday season. Lucky you if you have them at your LD. I'll try to insert a photo here. But we kind of found everything else. I'll show you guys when we get home. Another thing is they completely got rid of all of the registers and they're all self-checkout now and they only do card. They don't even accept cash, which to me, I usually never have cash, but like the one time I have cash on me, no cash and it's just strictly self-checkouts which to be honest i usually use self-checkout 99.999 percent of the time but i feel like those ld workers are so quick when it comes to checking out and they're all closed it's just even like dollar tree i saw we went to a dollar tree the other day and there was one register open and the rest was self-checkout at dollar tree do a little bit of cleaning real quick so my favorite purchases on Amazon. It's like a little car vacuum. So worth it. All right, I changed into my pajamas just to be a little bit comfier. And I was just gonna scrap this vlog all together, honestly, because today 
I feel like since the moment I woke up has been nothing but chaos. It doesn't translate onto camera because obviously I'm not going to show everything, but it has been a chaotic, chaotic day to say the least, but it is what, what it is. We're moving on. I want to show you guys what I got at Aldi. Aldi does have some really great, super affordable Christmas finds, like actual home finds, baking stuff, just really great stuff. So I want to show you guys that. I also got the ornaments out of the car. I had them in the trunk. I got these at Hobby Lobby. They're the flocked ornaments. You probably won't find them now. Ever since they went viral, they've just been so hard to come by, but I was able to get a few. And then I also picked up some velvet ribbon right here, and I'm gonna tie each ornament to put on the Christmas tree, and that's what we're gonna do today. And then I also found some gold bells. I thought this would be really cute for the garland. So I got these at Hobby Lobby. I just had them in the trunk. But everything else that I got is from LD. So I did find a wreath. And it was only $6.99. This was the last one left. The other ones were flocked. And it's like the perfect size. It's not the best, the best quality. It does have these cute little cheap-ish gold bells. You could change out the ribbon if you wanted to. These little red berries. It's not super full or anything. But I thought it would be really cute to put over the bed. It's kind of like exactly what I was looking for. It's definitely better than like the Dollar Tree garlands you know that super fake looking one at least this one looks kind of realistic so for $6.99 i am not complaining and i also found these scentsicles they're scented ornaments that you hang on a tree and it's supposed to smell like a freshly cut tree so i want to give them a try i've never i mean right out of the they smell so good i don't know how everybody is when it comes to fragrances if you're like super sensitive or you don't do fragrances in your house Oh, they literally smell like Christmas. It's like Christmas in a bottle. So I got the ones White Winter Fur. And I'm going to hang them all up over the Christmas tree and make it smell like Christmas in here. Um, found some hot milk chocolate stirs. How cute are these? I got them for my kids, so one for each kid. I also got them some snowman hot cocoa bombs, but they're up there. I got them uh, probably a few weeks ago. So they do have those. They have like round cocoa bombs, like really great seasonal chocolates, cookies, you name it they have it okay and then i got the cutest ever cookie mug toppers this is crunchy butter cookies designed to fit on the rim of your mug like how stinking cute is this i was so excited when i saw this because i saw somebody do like a gingerbread man one on instagram reels and i was like oh my gosh that's so cute where can i find them and aldi that's where you can find them so check out your local aldi i uh, got some gingerbread kits for the kids so there's four little mini gingerbread houses and then i was able to find some cookie making stuff originally i wanted to make my own gingerbread cookie mix but i saw on the instacart app that aldi has a gingerbread cookie mix they also have salted caramel and i was like why would i not get it when i can just you know already get the mix you are going to need butter water and an egg so you're kind of technically making your own gingerbread cookie mix. This is just basically the flour, the molasses powder, sugar, baking soda, cinnamon, spice, salt, and like two other ingredients like maltodextrin. And we're going to make some Christmas sugar cookies when we get back from my sister's house. And some cookie cutouts. I didn't get a gingerbread man because I didn't have it. And I didn't feel like buying one on Amazon. So we're not going to make gingerbread men. But we are going to make Christmas cookies. So that is everything that I got. I also got some cotton candy grapes. If you haven't tried cotton candy grapes yet, they are so good. They're a little expensive, but they're really good. They basically are grapes that taste like cotton candy. I don't know how they do it. I don't want to know, but they're really good. And then some cards for both of the parents slash grandparents. I think these were like 99 cents. Where do you ever find a card that's like it has like little pop-ups for 99 cents? My kids are so loud. I can't tell if they're crying or screaming or what. Like, are we laughing? Is it funny? I give it like a few seconds to find out. Okay, that's like a not happy cry. I've basically been my whole day today. Literally, I'm not even kidding. And now we're laughing. Now we're, <laughs> it's literally my mood from laughing to crying two seconds. And then I got some clear hand soap. So let's go ahead and fill up that little gingerbread hand soap dispenser that I got the other day. I was touching those sensicles and now everything that I touch tastes like white Fraser fur. It's weird. I'm almost all out of the Miss Myers one. And this is the scent Birchwood scent. If you come across this, I highly recommend it. It just smells so good and masculine, but not too masculine. Like it has a little bit of a, it's a great like unisex scent, I would say. It smells so good. So this is Birchwood. This is all that Ellie had. I mean, they had like foaming ones, but I don't think foaming would work for this. So we're just going to use this regular clear hand soap liquid refill from LD. I think I'm going to add a few drops of my Revive Immunity Boost just to give it like a little bit of a scent. So this one has clove, lemon, 
cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary in here. This is very similar to like the doTERRA immunity one, but this is the revived version. And I also have the roll on. It doesn't like smell the best, but I'm thinking like, you know, hand soap, germs, immunity, you know what I'm saying? Actually, this one is kind of scented. Oh, we don't want to overdo it. Yeah, this one has like a, like a clean soapy smell to it, you know? Let's add a few drops of that immunity boost. Shake it, give it a little stir. <sighs> nice and clean. Could I hang some? Yeah, let's hang two. I don't want to overdo it. Mmm, so so good. This was a freshly picked crisp. It does. Alright, we got the Garland Dawn. Let me show you guys an up close out of the box. You can totally make this look way more expensive than it is because it is kind of sparse. But again, $6.99. If you added some more faux greenery or real greenery to make it a bit more full, it would definitely look more expensive than it is. You can change out the ribbon to like a dark maroon one or a chocolate one. It even has this little gold hook right here, which I think is really cute. But again, $6.99. I cannot complain. Such a charm, got you up in my arm There's nobody at the door You said I wish this will never be over Darling, it's time for your present Come over here, now it is time To get out in the snow Lighting a light with you Choirs will sing and the joy bells will ring The lighting here is so bad because it is all lights off in this house right now, everybody is sleeping, so I'm trying to be quiet. But I'm making myself a cup of tea. I really wanted another cookie. These are so cute. I'm probably gonna go back and get some more. I feel like they're the cutest little things to put on your mug. The kids used it with milk. I've been loving having tea. I'm not like usually a tea person, but once in a while, I like to have tea, mainly at night since I try not to have coffee after like afternoon time even though today I had one pretty late I usually just try to stick to like one cup maybe two in the mornings and this is going to be completely opposite of what I just said because this tea has so much caffeine it has a high caffeine in it but it's so good it's the chocolate puer just chocolate puer tea so it has cacao powder Black puer tea, rooibos, nutmeg, honey bush, cinnamon, orange peel, cardamom, and it's from a brand new me, but it's really good. It's not like too chocolatey, but it's a nice, nice tea. I don't usually like too many teas, but this one I do like. Around the Christmas season, I like to stay up and watch Christmas movies. YouTube has a lot of free movies, like the super cheesy Christmas movies, Hallmark, you name it. They have it, it's just with ads, but they're free to watch. So I've been loving doing that. And that's what I've been doing, I'll get my tea. Sometimes I get a snack and I watch Christmas movie. That's been like my nighttime routine. I do love the classics like Home Alone, Christmas with the Cranks. I love, um, what is it? What's the one with Cameron Diaz? Holiday, I can't remember. But that one is like, I love it so much, I can't even remember the name. It's like, sure, Tosh, we believe you. <laughs> that one I could watch every single Christmas. My sister got me this mug last Christmas. I got her one, and then she got me one. It's like a customizable, you can do the hair, change the hair. What is going on with Chai over there? And the names, and then they kind of printed it off, 
but it's super cute. I think she's mad because she can't reach something under the RV, but it's been a long day. It's been one of those days. I know everybody has them, whether you're a mom or whether you're not. Everybody has those days once in a while, and today for me, it's been one of those days, but I'm gonna finish this vlog here. Tomorrow's kind of a busier day. I'm gonna be packing for the weekend to spend with my sister. I gotta do another load of laundry before I leave. So I hope you guys enjoy hanging out today, and I hope to see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. It's just you and me tonight. It's just you and me tonight. I'll spend all this Christmas with you.